this project is a bridge, uh, it's a footbridge, and it's to connect this wonderful business park that we're standing in here um, to the local underground network over at Chiswick Park on the district line over the other side. There are around about 10,000 people that work in this park um, and we've got to get them onto the underground and at the moment there's only one tube station uh, and this bridge gives us uh, a second opportunity to get people to and from away from the park in the most safe way and on a lovely journey. So the bridge has to span um, across some major London infrastructure including the uh, London Overground lines, um, roads and car parking um, and, and generally we're trying to give people a, a delight to their journey on the way in and from work. So we tried to make this bridge as super efficient as we possibly could. Um, so for technically one of the things that we've done is we've created what's called a network arch. This is only the first pedestrian network arch uh, in the UK. Uh, they're, they're technically very challenging but they're very, very efficient. What we really liked about this footbridge was the innovative design. The cable nets, which are the first in, in Europe, uh, how slim that made the arches, uh, the, the aesthetics of the, the whole project, but also the use of materials. So we've got zero maintenance in terms of um, the use of uh, weather steel, stainless steel, and also hardwood on the timber decking. Another thing that's a real challenge is that the bridge spans between different boroughs and it's got lots of stakeholders. We've got a nature reserve, we've got, um, uh, we've got network rail that we've got to in interact with as well as two different London boroughs and local residents in the business park itself. So marrying all of those different, um, uh, different bodies and their important interests has been one of the most significant challenges. To make something like this is taking so many different people with different skills and different areas over the years and the pride I get is how all of that's come together into one, I think, stunning kind of final outcome.